What's up, my golden pan people? What's cooking? You know, I didn't think about it, but I think at this point, I've made more Golden Frying Pan Man videos consecutively than the Weekly Slap has total. I know that's not much of a triumph, but I still think it's cool. I'm playing exclusively with the disciplinary action today because we're talking about discipline. You know, it's kind of funny that Soldier has the disciplinary action, given that he's done one of the least disciplined people in all of fiction. I don't think there's a single rule that he follows, and... That's kind of what discipline is. I mean, right? A set of rules that you follow for personal reasons or no reason at all. You just do. Hmm. I think a lot of people struggle with discipline. I know I do. After all, a life with so many rules and regulations, it seems wild to add more just because. But discipline is so much more than that. It's a promise of security and stability. It's the habits that make the bedrock of your day-to-day -day and your life. It's really easy to get caught up in the intoxication of freedom, but you end up pushing others away. Without discipline, you become unreliable and untrustworthy. A bank of words that no one trusts is nothing. My biggest problem is sometimes it feels meaningless, or it's easy to excuse yourself from the rules. I don't need to do this. I just... I'm gonna do it once. No one's gonna get hurt. When that's not inherently the purpose. It's not something to give an overarching reason for your actions or your future. The more reason that you give yourself to do something, the more reason you will give yourself against it. No matter how many reasons you have to do something, your mind will think of just as many, if not more, to combat it, right? And... It's been said that discipline is what keeps you going when passion is absent, when it's all smoke. It's easy to throw in the towel and quit, but my main concern is probably the fear of missing out. I know that FOMA is a big thing. It's what like a lot of gamblers deal with, um, but I mean, it's always been really a big problem for me because, you know, you follow these rules, but others don't. And so clearly there must be a reason. If I go to sleep, I might miss a joke that my friends will reference forever. If I keep watching videos, I may see a video that will change my life, you know. But it's gambling. Let's go gambling! <laughs> and discipline is the rules that stop you from going all in. But just because you have discipline doesn't mean you lack the ability to take chances. Prioritizing yourself and being there for yourself isn't destructive or boring. It's ensuring you can be someone others can trust and be reliable. It's not just a promise that I will or want to do something. It's a promise that I will be there for myself and so I can be there for others. Right? A while back, uh, those, those veterans of the channel will remember a while back, I talked about maintenance and humankind's seeming repulsion from it. And that's kind of what discipline is. It's an aspect of preventative maintenance. To give your mind and body something stable and defined. Something approachable and digestible. Yet it makes me wonder, why do we want security and freedom? Why is this a dilemma? But, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit of a shorter one, but this week was, uh, it was rough. So, I hope you guys had a better week than I did, and I'll see you next week.